Hi boys and girls, Miss Mary here to give you our Bible lesson for the week. And I've got something special today. I brought a brown paper bag. Just a simple brown paper bag. What do you think is inside of here? Do you have any idea? Well, there's something inside of here that eyes have never seen and hands have never touched. Does that help you? Do you know what it is? I'm going to open it up and show you what it is. Inside of my bag here, I have an apple. Now you're going to say, Miss Mary, come on. Everybody's seen the apple. We can touch it and everything like that. But what if I cut this apple? I'm going to cut it right here. And look. Look what's inside the apple. There's some seeds in there. Now, until we cut the apple, our eyes have not seen it, and our hands were not able to touch it either. So I kind of tricked you a little bit, didn't I? I did. And you didn't believe me about it. So our story today is about not seeing, but believing anyway. Last week, we talked about Jesus and Jesus dying on the cross and Jesus rising again on Easter Sunday. And it was so exciting. Well, this is the next step in the story about believing that Jesus really is alive. And it's all about our friend Thomas, the disciple. Now, Thomas was a good disciple. He loved Jesus a lot, and he wanted to follow Jesus. He trusted Jesus in everything that happened until Jesus was put to death on the cross. Then Thomas got scared, really, really, really scared scared. He didn't know what to do, so he ran away. He did not stay and watch. He was so afraid that he was going to be put to death too. But suddenly on Easter Sunday, the day after Easter Sunday, the women went to the tomb and they were going to anoint Jesus' body. The tomb was empty. The angel had said, he is not here. He is risen. So on the way back to town, the women saw a man and he talked to them. And all of a sudden they knew that that was Jesus. They knew it was Jesus. They were so excited. They ran back to town to tell the disciples, guess what? We have seen Jesus. We have seen Jesus. And soon the disciples were all gathered in a room and suddenly Jesus appeared to them. But Thomas was not with them. So the disciples believed at that point in time, but Thomas did not. So here is our story. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he showed them the wounds in his hands and sighed, and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw that Jesus had risen from the grave. One of the disciples, whose name was Thomas, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand on his side, I will not believe it. A week later, the disciples were in the house again, and this time Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Boys and girls, is that like us today? We can't see Jesus, can we? We can't. But do we believe in him? I do. I believe in him because I believe in the Bible. And the Bible tells us that Jesus really did rise from the dead and that he is alive. So I hope and pray that you will believe that Jesus is alive, that you will know that there really are seeds inside of the apple, even though you couldn't see them, even though you couldn't touch them, there really were seeds inside of there. 
We need to believe in Jesus just like that. So boys and girls, I'm going to pray quickly. Father, thank you, Lord, for my little friends. Lord, bless them today. Be with them, Heavenly Father, Lord God. Encourage them, Lord God. Let them know Miss Mary loves them. And Lord, we just thank you for who you are. And we too believe in you, in Jesus' name. All right, boys and girls, till I get a chance to see you. Bye.